And Jen, it has been a very busy day here at the EOC in Concord as crews here have been monitoring this storm. Joining me now, though, is the director of New Hampshire Homeland Security and Emergency Management, Robert Buxton. Thank you very much for taking the time. Um, as Jen was just talking about power outages, they're climbing again. We did see them drop, but where are we right now? Yeah, so earlier in the day at noontime, we're, we had uh, peaked out at about 80,000. Uh, Mid-afternoon, we dropped to about 47, and we have started to see an increase as the backside of the storm has started to come in as we're getting close to that 80,000 mark or a little higher even right now. And as those outages jump, it's going to be very cold tonight. Uh, just advice for folks at home who may lose power throughout the night. That's a great question. And, um, so tonight we'd ask you to just be safe. So stay away from down power lines. If you're utilizing a generator, please make sure it's at least a minimum of 10 feet away from your home. Exhaust pointed away. If you're utilizing an alternative fuel source, please make sure it's clean and you know how to use it properly. And of course, uh, this storm, not great timing. It is a very busy weekend, the Christmas holiday weekend. If folks are going out tonight, what do they need to know? Yeah, with the flash freeze coming in this evening, uh, just be cognizant of your driving conditions, right? So a little more distance in front of you, and uh, please make sure you're taking your time and aware of your surroundings. And for our friends on the seacoast, been very busy out there. We have another high tide coming. What are you looking at there? Yeah, so we're going to watch the high tide cycle again this evening around 1130 and watch to see what additional damage happens, but it has been very busy for them today. All right, it's going to be a busy night for everyone as we head out here. Thank you very much, Director Buxton. We appreciate your time. Uh, the EOC will remain open throughout tonight and as crews monitor the situation will continue uh, to bring you updates for now reporting live here in Concord. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.